Hey everyone, welcome back to, welcome back to, what? No, welcome to Sonic Heroes. Yeah, this is my third take recording this. <laughs> Meh. But anyway, uh, let's just get started with the game, shall we? Okay, so, uh, oh, Skype, stop. No, no calls, no. <clears throat> so this is uh, Seaside Hill, the opening level for Sonic Heroes. There are actually four teams, Team Sonic being, well, obvious, comprising of Sonic, the Tails, and Knuckles. Now, um, the gimmick with this game is you can take control of three characters, as you can plainly see, you can switch between them by pressing Y or X. It, in the top, uh, top, proper, top right corner, it actually shows you who you can switch to. But um, once you practice enough, you can actually switch without without even having to um, look at the corner. Now, each character represents a type. Um, Sonic represents speed type, Tails represents flight type, and Knuckles represents power type. It's indicated by the emblem color surrounding them. And, um, you know, they all do different things. Sonic can obviously speed through things, do the light speed dash as well as jump between large gaps using the triangle jump, which we will see not in this part actually. Huh. Um, Tails can also carry his teammates and shoot him at his enemies using the thunder shoot. He also can shoot out dummy rings. Yeah, this is the game that introduced the dummy rings, which is what we hate in Sonic 06. Yay, but no, not really. And um, power type, obviously, for Knuckles, he can just plow through everything with his um force like these rocks yeah so the there's not really a um wow my light dash <laughs> there's not really a um oh, before I say that you'll notice that I went through that little portal thing that's actually the checkpoint for this game and you saw that I got a power core that blue circular thing or that red thing right there um there's a level up system it's kind of basic but it still works um, each character can level up to three times. Team, um, let's take Sonic for example. Um, once he levels up, his homing attack does power up to where um, an enemy can be one shot. Oh, by the way, enemies have health bars, which is a 
big complaint for this game. I honestly don't mind it too much. It, I just don't. But um, that's what I was saying. Once Sonic levels up to say level three, his homing attack is a lot more powerful. It actually gains a wind attribute, which I'll explain when it's more appropriate. And he gets a little bit faster. When um, Tails is at level leveled up, his thunder shoot can actually knock out enemies in one blow as well. Also, he can fly a little bit longer, and if he shoots, if he um, uses thunder shoot towards some rings, the rings will actually be attracted to the shot character. I think I showed that off here. I'm not sure. Mm. And when Knuckles levels up, he obviously gains more power, and he can um, perform combo finishers. I'll explain that a little more later as well. Now you'll, you probably noticed that the um, image is obviously letterbox. This is the best I can do without the quality just crapping all over itself. I tried full screen and cropping it out, but um, Windows Movie Maker just isn't good at <laughs> cropping. Need something like Sony Vegas, but that costs money, which I currently don't have at the moment, but uh, hopefully soon. But for now, gotta work with what I got. Turned out better than I thought, really. Now, you'll notice that that spring is um, lit up. If all three are lit up, you get an item. However, Tails didn't feel like lighting up the spring, so I didn't get the item. Damn it, Tails. But yeah, you'll get like rings, Team Blast Gauge, which I'll explain later. Sometimes a shield. Yep. Now, you notice that um, Knuckles spun around Sonic and Tails like that. He can do that either by um, pressing B in the air or by jumping while he's holding his teammates and it also damages them. Now the cannons, um, they shoot you in different directions depending on the formation you jump in. Since I was speed type, it shot me at the springs around the um, shaft of that building. If I were to be flight type or power type, it would have shot me in different directions, but I'll explain that later. Now this is the uh, bobsled that controls better in this game than in Sonic Generations. I'm sorry, but that thing in Generations can't turn for Jack Daniels. I'm always hitting the wall. You'll notice I never go for it to I completely skip it. It's actually faster doing that in Generations. Anyway, the bobsled um, uses all three characters, and once you get to the end of the course, under the predetermined time, the character that jumped into the bobsled who is leader, levels up, so that's always good. And uh, getting close to the end of Seaside Hill. Almost there. Oh, this is Team Blast. Team Blast? Yeah, that's, that's the right word, what am I thinking? Team Blast Gauge. Um, what it does is, well, this. Pretty much destroys all the enemies on the screen, and it also has a cooldown period. As you can see, the orange gauge is slowly going down in the top right corner. During that cooldown period, um, for Team Sonic's Team Blast, Sonic can perform the light speed dash, which is in Adventure One and Adventure Two. Basically, hones in on enemies a lot more quicker than um, the home attack and destroys them generally in one hit. Generally. And also making a return is the ranking system. A, B, a being the highest rank, and E being the lowest rank. I get one of each rank in this playthrough. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you that right now. <laughs> yeah. Oh, by the way, I do post commentary. That was tight! Indeed it was. And we also get emblems, which is also my avatar for YouTube. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing post commentary. Um well, let's find out, shall we?
it. Now I know what this is all about. You're mad at Eggman for sealing you in this room. And you, you can't remember anything, can you? Then it's settled. Now you two make up so we can start looking for Eggman together. Oh yeah, baby, this makes us a team. Yep, instead of making each um, level apart, I'm just going to show all of them at once because all teams go through the same level layouts. You two ready? Warning. Immediate destruction is distracted. Hope you can keep up with me. Okay, let me rephrase that. Level um, order, not layout, because the layouts do differ between the teams. So, I guess I should explain the story. It The story varies from team to team. Team Sonic, well, they, Tails basically got a letter from Eggman. Weird. And, hold on. Tails and Knuckles delivered that letter to um, Sonic. The letter basically says that um, Eggman's going to conquer the world in three days, so now Sonic, Tails, and Knuckles are going to go and stop him. Why Knuckles isn't on Angel Island, not guarding the Master Emerald, I don't know. I kind of gave up asking that question after the last playthrough. But um, <laughs> for Team Dark, Rouge was actually um, exploring one of Eggman's bases and discovered Shadow. Well, upon activating the capsule that Shadow was in, she also activated everything in the base, including E-123 Omega. Yeah, 23rd E-Series e -series robots. E-Series robot. And um, Omega actually wants revenge on Eggman for locking him in the room. And Shadow actually has amnesia from the events of Sonic Adventure 2. If you don't know what I'm talking about, watch my Sonic Adventure 2 playthrough. I'll probably put a link in somewhere. Yeah, Link. So, as I said earlier, each team goes through the same levels in the exact same order. So, first level for Team Sonic is um, Seaside Hill. First level for Team Dark is Seaside Hill. Other two teams will start off with Seaside Hill as well, so we will see them in this part. Yep. Now, you saw me use their Team Blast, which is... I have no idea what the name of the Team Blast is, <laughs> actually. I think they just said it, but I honestly can't remember. I just call all of them Team Blast. Basically, like, Team Sonic destroys all enemies, but during their cooldown period, um, Shadow uses Chaos Control, and if y'all don't know what Chaos Control is, it affects time and space. And in the case of this game, it stops time completely. All enemies, all objects, and even the timer in the top left corner. And we will be seeing me abuse that later on and I missed the rainbow rings one of those points but other than that team dark is pretty similar to team sonic um team dark is considered the hard mode of the game you know there's like a harder mode super hard mode I should say but um t team dark their level layouts have a few more obstacles to go through as well as more enemies they'll encounter um, the stronger enemies earlier in the game than the other teams, actually. Yeah, I think because aside from a visual difference, they're not really the same moveset. They're really not different moveset-wise when compared to Team Sonic, aside from the power type, because um, Omega's um, combo finishers revolve around using weapons, while um, Knuckles focuses around Earth and Fire, but more on that when we actually get there. But, oh yeah, something um, every power formation can do. When, um, when you're in power formation and you're near enemies, your teammates will automatically home in on them. That's really the only time they can actually do the, I guess it's the homing attack. I, I don't really know. This game's different, <laughs> to say the least. But yeah, if your Parasite characters are near an enemy, your teammates will home in on them automatically. Yeah, it's funny because every character can technically do the homing attack in this game. But it's like, in order for Flight Type and Power Type to do the homing attack, they have to be in a different formation. Like, um, when you're leading as Shadow, 
both Ryujin and Omega can do the homing attack with you and power up your moves. But um, they can't do that on their own. Weird, ain't it? <laughs> now here's an instance of the cannon doing something different. It's a slight difference, but we'll see the cannon doing different things later on. Instead of the cannon firing me at um, the springs, since I was in flight formation when jumping in the cannon, it actually just shot me straight up. If I was power type, I believe, yeah, power type, you actually control the cannon, but it, the elevation isn't high enough to where you can get shot out of the building. Instead, you will be able to shoot the rocks to reveal secrets that are in that room. Oh, Rouge, you're supposed to go through the ring. Come on, go. In okay, case so any of y'all are actually curious, um, reason that this is my third recording of this one part alone is because, um, first time, I don't even know what happened the first time. I know the second time the frame rate was all over the place for the video. And I even watched it in the YouTube player, and I don't know, the frame rate was like at five frames per second for some odd reason. I don't know why, but I fixed it. <laughs> Just had to re-render it again. And that is pretty much the end. Again, we don't see major differences between blah, 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 talking, talking, talking is difficult. We don't see major differences between Team Sonic and Team Dark early on, but they'll become apparent as we go along this little adventure. And wow, I used Rouge uh, way more than I remember. <laughs> wow. So pass me, press A. Thank you. Perfect. As usual. Right. On to Team Rose. Oh, I wonder where Sonic is. Oh no! Oh! Ah! Amy, please be more careful with our only clue. You're right, I'm sorry. <laughs> Chocolate. Hey, you guys, cheer up! You know we'll find them! No time to waste just standing here! Come on, let's get going! Okay. Alright, so Seagate. The hell is this? Seagate. Oh. Oh. Hello! I'm Omega! Ah! In this game, you can find a different type of action! Um, so, when you play as Team Rose, you have to go through a tutorial level called Seagate. Thing is, Omega is constantly talking. And, uh, no. You know what? Screw it. Okay. Um, anyway. Yeah. When you play as Team Rose, you do have to go through a, um, whatchamacallit? <laughs> a, um, tutorial level called Seagate. Team Sonic can actually go through that as well. Thing is, when you play Team Sonic, it's not part of the story. You have to select it, select it from the um, main menu. Team Rose, they're thrown into it automatically before going into Seaside Hill because Team Rose is considered the easy mode of the game. The levels are a lot shorter, they have fewer enemies to deal with, and their level design is... Mm, level design is lax compared to everyone else. Yep. So, story with Team Rose is, um, Cream's pet, ch well, best friend Cheese, that little chow hovering above her head, has a brother named Chocola, a brown chow. Has a yellow tie, I think. Or is it a blue tie? I don't remember. Doesn't matter. Anyway, Chocola, along with Big's friend Froggy, the frog, in case you didn't figure that out, they both have been captured by what appears to be Sonic, according to that newspaper that Amy had, so all three of them are going to track down Sonic. Amy for the wrong reasons, but whatever. She's the leader. <laughs> now, um, Team Rose is also the slowest overall. Um, Amy is a speed type character, but she's considerably slower compared to 
all the speed tie characters, really. She's the slowest. And, um... They're an okay team. I I play them often, actually. Uh, team Dark's actually the team I play the least because their levels just drag and drag on. Where Team Rose, Team Sonic, they get straight to the point. Team Chaotix, um, depends. More on that later. So you're probably wondering why I got hit. I, um, accidentally hit the, um, Joust. Is that a Joust? I think that's what they're called, anyway. Yeah, if you hit that, it counts as a object that can hurt you. So you just gotta be careful when homing attacking those enemies. Actually, it's simpler to just use a thunder sh thunder shoot or parasite character. <clears throat> Don't know why. Um, now something I didn't really mention before is that the power type characters can um, carry their teammates. Like Knuckles, when he attacks, um, he grabs Sonic and Tails, and they um, spin around his fist. The same thing with Omega. With um, Big, once he does his, does his first attack, both Cream and Amy jump on his shoulders, and then he shoots them at the enemies. So that's something. And the level's already done, and man, their victory pose just looks ridiculously funny. <laughs> so, uh, but yeah, that's Team Rose in a nutshell. There are a few other things I like to explain about each team individually, but more on that in later parts. Right now, I'm just trying to go through the basics. Um, why? Okay, about to say, why am I not pressing A? We're like awesome. Sure, why not? Anyway, on to the last team. So yeah, remember the Chaotix? They're back. I don't know how they got the name Chaotix. I don't think it was ever mentioned in the game. Huh. Okay, sorry I was silent there, but I'm honestly trying to think, was the word Chaotix ever mentioned in Knuckles Chaotix? If someone that's watching this knows, let me know, because that's one of the two Sonic games I've never played before. I haven't played that or um, Sonic and the Black Knight. I'd like to play those one day. But, um, anyway, so Team Chaotix is comprised of SBO, Charmy, Vector, whatever happened to Mighty, Bomb, and Heavy. Um... Who knows? They're they're still in the comics, but not in the game. Eh. Anyway, the story with them is they're actually a detective agency, and they got a parcel from a client that they're communicating with through a very loud walkie-talkie. By loud, it's very colorful. I've never seen one so colorful. Looks like a toy for a five-year-old, actually. But um, yeah, they're pretty much going by what the client says, going through the levels. So Team Chaotix, their um, their main, I guess, um, gimmick—not really gimmick—but um, basically their gameplay is mission-based. Like um, as it was mentioned earlier, when they started, they have to find ten hermit crabs. Later levels, get to collect certain rings, get get through a level under certain conditions, and all that stuff. Um. It may sound tedious, but it's really not that bad, mainly because one, 
with the exception of three levels, if you have to find X amount of items, you do have some leeway in that there are, you have to find 10 karma grabs here, but there are actually 20 total in the level. The reason is that because every level has a secondary objective, and Team Chaotix secondary objectives usually involve you finding more of X amount of items. So basically the secondary objective for this level would be to find all 20 hermit crabs. And um, like I said before, there's only three levels where you have to actually find everything, and only one of them I find really annoying me. But um, more on that later. Because they do have regular missions like um, get to the gold ring and also something that's not really regular but get through an area without being detected by enemies so yeah um SBO he himself is actually faster than Amy but slower than Sonic and Shadow and um, can also throw ninja stars because he's a ninja for some reason I don't know never really screamed ninja but I'll roll with it <laughs> um, Charmy he's very similar to the other flight type characters except he can actually pollinate metallic flowers what and what these flowers do is they teleport you like that or contain items such as power-ups or even switches to activate doors vector um, instead of grabbing his teammates with his hands he uses his mouth you probably saw that earlier but he has done that and he has different um, combo finishes as well which we won't see in this video because the videos almost done and I missed the dash ring but it doesn't matter because there's a hermit crab down here yeah grab him in the mouth weird I know but yep yeah, that's all the time I have for this vid whoa I just realized this video is almost half an hour long I've recorded this three times and I'm just not noticing that but um anyway this is it for Seaside Hill in the next part we will get to Ocean Palace so thank you guys for watching hope you enjoy my take on this playthrough and I will see you next time so pass me press the button right now please any oh thank you awesome totally awesome right